In C Sharp, a class is like a blueprint of a specific object. In the real world, every object has a color, it has a shape, and it has functionalities. For example, a person. Each person has specifics like, for example, the age, the height, the birthday, the profession, etc. The same way in object oriented programming, a class defines certain properties, fields, events, methods, etc. So by using classes we create our own types by grouping together variables of other types, methods and events. In C Sharp, a class can be defined by using the class keyword. So let us create our first class. For that go to the Solution Explorer, right click on the project, then add a class. Next, we need to define a name, so let us name our class Circle and click the Add button to create this class. A class in C Sharp has different components. It has access modifiers, which are used to define the accessibility of the class and its members. And the field is a class level variable that can hold a value. Then it has constructors, which are called when you create an instance of a class. It has methods, which are used to execute certain instructions, and it has properties. And we use properties to encapsulate a private field. So let us start with the access modifiers. Let us define this class to be a public one, which means that now this class is accessible from any other class within our solution. And next let us define a field. Since this is a circle related class, we are going to define the pi value, so for that we write private constant, because we don't want this value to be changed, then the type is going to be double, the name is going to be pi, and then 3.14. Now, if you want to get a more precise value of the pi, you can use the math helper class and then the pi property. In our case, we are just going to use the 3.14 value. Now next, let us define a constructor. To create a constructor, you can simply write CTR and then double tab. And this is how you create the default constructor. So let us write a message in here. So console.writeLine circle created. Now that we created the constructor, let us create a property. To create a property, just write in here prop and then define the type to be double and the name is going to be the radius. Now let us create a method which we are going to use to calculate the area. So for that we write public, this is going to be the access modifier. It's going to be of type double because we want to return a double value and then get area. And what we want to return to the users will be the pi times math.power and we want to have the radius to power 2. If you want to create another method, you can write in here public double get parameter then 2 times pi times radius. And that's all. Now, since we are in here, let us create another constructor as well. Because in a class, we can have different constructors. So we can have the default constructor without any parameters or constructors that have a parameter and we assign this parameter when we initialize the object. So let us write in here public circle and this constructor will have a parameter double radius. And then we assign this value to our property. Now let us go to the program.cs class and in here write circle c1 is equal to new circle. Then assign to this circle the radius which is equal to 5 and then use the c1.get area to get the area of this circle. Let us create another one so circle s2 is equal to new circle and now let us define the radius as a parameter of this constructor and then let us use the same method to get the area. 
So C2 dot get area. Now let us display the result to the user. So for that, just write in here double A1 is equal to C1 dot get area and then double A2 is equal to the other one. Let us display these results to the user. So console dot write line and then A2 in here. Let us do the same for the A1. Save the changes and then press Ctrl F5. So in here you are going to see the circle created message, which comes from the default constructor. And then you have in here the same value, even though we use the different constructors. So in here we created two objects, the object C1 and the object C2 using different constructor overloads.